wondered what's going on in the brain of a fish when they approach our baited spots. We've probably all seen a fish come up to something on the surface, only to ignore it at the last minute. Or a carp, perhaps, just holding off from a baited patch with its petrol fins just waving slowly. A signal sent from its brain to its fins to elicit that precise action as part of undoubtedly a number of things that are going on in its head. We know that a fish processes information before it elicits a response. But what's happening? What triggers that behaviour? What features is it detecting? Curiously, can any of this help us in our fishing? And I think the answer is yes. But it's the type of fish that's important because this work will help us get closer to those fish who know how not to get caught. Fish for whom learning has taken place. They recognise certain features and can make reliable associations. And if you're sitting there thinking, well, I know that fish are intelligent, but they're not that intelligent. And anyway, they've all got to eat, so therefore they're all catchable. I think I'm going to change your mind on that. Angling with a rod and line has come so far that any advancements are bound to be fine as we reach the pinnacle of this pursuit. So just back for a second on this idea that all fish have to eat, therefore all fish are catchable. I came up with a few reasons, by no means exhaustive, why fish might not get caught at your baited spot. They don't make it because they can avoid the hook by luck they don't make it to your baited spot because they know how to and that's going to be our feature isn't it it doesn't make it to your baited spot because it sensed something's not right it doesn't make it to your baited spot because another fish has communicated that something's not right it doesn't make it to your baited spot because a fish of another species has communicated that something's not right there's loads of reasons it's fed somewhere else it's a natural's lake your baiting's all wrong a fish gets hooked and spooks the whole setup. Worrying of all, it can actually take the hook, prick itself, and shake free with zero register to the angler. And some materials actually facilitate this learned shake off, but I'll deal with that another time. So, a better way to consider this statement, all fish have to eat, therefore, all fish are catchable, is to put on the end under certain conditions. Because it's us, the fishermen, who are teaching these fish what these conditions are. Where for experienced fish, and that's our focus, all known threat cues and associations are either A, undetectable, which doesn't necessarily mean they're not there, or B, they're no longer held in their memory, or C, they're novel, in other words, they haven't been experienced yet. And then experienced fish don't need to feature, do they? Because uh, they haven't encountered enough negative fishing experiences to have developed any associations yet. And interestingly, the inexperienced fish that comes in and takes the bait in the presence of those bigger, more learned wise fish actually reinforces for them strength of association, which is not good. And I call this fish the gate crasher. Uh, for example, you've been fishing for a big fish and you land a smaller one. Uh, but this is good because it can, it can inform you what to do next. You've probably experienced this gate crasher anyway. You're fishing for big fish and you catch a, uh, catch a small one. So at worst, overprinting or what I call overusing, over relying on certain things strengthens association and facilitates what we call in sort of neural terms, long term potentiation or LTP for short, or if you prefer, synaptic plasticity. So rods were once made of wood and now they're high performance carbons. Baits have developed from bread to high nutritional value return foodstuffs. Techniques have refined beyond all recognition. Technology is playing its part. Comparatively speaking, the last explored area of this pursuit of ours is the fish themselves. And that is until now. Fish can and do learn. They do know how to avoid the hook in certain situations. So sit back and relax and I'll take you through the journey of how fish decide. <laughs>